I'd like to welcome Heather Governor back into our studio. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me back. Now you're from the Halton Environmental Network and today we're going to talk about the environmental impact of clothing. Yeah, that's another of the, the things that really contributes a lot to our environmental footprint and we, we don't always think of it in that way. So I think it's an important conversation to have. Yeah, it's not something that comes up very often, no. at least in my circle. So why don't you tell us about it? Well, there, there are a few things. There's everything that goes into making clothing. It takes a lot of energy and a lot of resources, a lot of water to make all of our clothing. And it's the fastest growing component of our landfill waste because most of the clothes that we get are either synthetic fibers or mixed fibers. So they're not easily recyclable and they eventually end up in a landfill. And there's additional problems with synthetic fibers, is there not? Yeah, when we wash our synthetic clothes, you, you may have heard of microplastics ending up in oceans. And some of that is from things like microbeads, which are in the news more and more. But a lot of it is from the fibers from our clothing. The, the tiny little fibers that come off every time we wash them end up in the oceans and then in plankton and then in fish and sometimes even in people and the other animals who eat fish. Wow, so what about when people say, well, I buy my clothes, but I, I make sure I donate them afterwards? And that's a great thing to do. It is great to, to donate your clothes if they're still in good shape. But just think of it this way. Every time you buy a new item of clothing, that is a new item of clothing that is destined for a landfill. So even if you donate it to someone else first, it still eventually will go to a landfill. So the, the, a better way to reduce your impact is to buy less, whether that's by making your clothing last longer, maybe by buying better quality clothing, or getting secondhand, because then you're buying an item of clothing that is already destined for landfill instead of adding more items that will fill up that, those landfills. Was there anything else that was important that you wanted to share with our viewers today? Um, I guess another thing about donating clothes, some of the clothes that we donate end up shipped to other countries and sometimes it may actually be useful and give them clothing that they, they may otherwise not have had, but some we end up sending way more than anybody could ever want and then hmm. it just ends up going to their landfills instead of ours, so it's just passing off the problem onto somebody else. Interesting. Okay, so there's an upcoming solution at one of your events that there are being held. There is. We're, we're holding a really big garage sale event on Saturday, May 26th, and one of the things that's going on at that event is a clothing swap run by the Oakville Parent Child Center. So if you have a child, um, I'm pretty sure the ages are zero to six, you can bring clothing within that age range, drop it off there, and take home clothing from children of other ages. So it's completely free. You, you leave what you don't want and you take what you do. So you can get new clothes that will fit your children without adding to your footprint. Exactly. And, cl and children grow out of their clothes so quickly that they're often in really good shape when they get passed on. Great, so we'll put up that information right now. For more information, you can go to haltonenvironnet.ca. Thanks for that. No problem.